It's the sound you depend on if there's a fire. But would smoke alarms wake up your whole family? Tonight, the disturbing results of an experiment. They didn't even budge a bit. And what you should do to protect your kids. Smoke alarms save lives. We all know it's vital to have them in our homes. But when it comes to kids, it turns out the typical alarm may not be enough to wake them in a fire. David Highfield joins us with what he's learned. David. You know, smoke alarms are so loud that you'd think it would wake everyone up, but mm -hmm. that is definitely not the case. We traveled to Columbus, Ohio, where they're developing new techniques to make smoke alarms better for children. We'll show you that in a moment, but let's begin with our experiment and the unsettling results. Your home is on fire, smoke filling the rooms. If you couldn't get to your kids, you'd hope the smoke alarms would wake them. But would they? I think people need more tea. Meet 10-year-old Samantha. Look at my shoes! And her seven-year-old sister, Sydney. Their parents are KDKA photographer Ian Smith and his wife Kathy. They explain to their daughters that they'll be part of a smoke alarm drill, but don't tell them exactly when. Then, one night, when they don't expect anything, Ian sets up cameras as the girls sleep. Kathy and I make our way to the smoke alarm. I start the stopwatch and we wait as it blares right outside their rooms. Samantha never moves. Sydney clearly hears it, wakes up enough to say softly, but then turns over and amazingly seems to fall back asleep. Experts say it only takes a minute for thick smoke to fill a home. In five minutes, a house can be engulfed in flames. At two minutes into our experiment, both girls sound asleep. Finally, at the three minute mark, we stop. You wanna check on them? They were fast asleep. They're fast asleep. What do you think? I actually am a little bit shocked that they're that sound asleep. I thought maybe a minute they might be able to go on, but that was pretty loud. We take it one step further. The Smiths have smoke alarms in each of the girls' rooms, right above their beds. So we try those too for a few minutes. One girl moves a little, the other not at all. Guess what? Yeah? We set off the fire alarm. For, for like five minutes and you didn't wake up. You didn't hear it? No. It turns out kids sleep differently than we do. This is very deep sleep. So kids are getting more deep sleep and what that means is it's harder to arouse a child. Dr. Daniel Shade, a sleep specialist at Allegheny General Hospital, says measured in waves, a child's sleep looks like this, an adult's like this. So what can wake up a kid? Voices get through that, that shield that sleep uh, is kind of forming in kids. And that's exactly what they're testing here at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. Can a smoke alarm with a voice on it wake kids up sooner? RJ, RJ, wake up, get out of bed. They had moms record their voices and then use those recordings as the alarm. Get out of bed, leave the room. Tracy Meehan is a spokesperson at the hospital and she enrolled her son in one of the studies. First, they set off a regular beeping alarm when he was in stage three or the deepest level of sleep. It went off for five full minutes and he did not wake up and did not come out of stage three. It was shocking to me as a parent that an 11-year-old would not wake up to the alarm. Our day, our day. But then when they tried her recorded message as the alarm, it made a big difference. He was up and out the door in seven seconds. Just floored me. Her son wasn't alone. Only 60% of the kids woke up to the traditional alarm and all but one of the children woke up to the parent alarm. After that first study nine years ago, a few companies began selling smoke alarms online that allow parents to record their voices, but they were expensive and are nearly impossible to find now. What you can find are alarms that alternate between beeps and a pre-recorded voice. Fire, fire. Dr. Shade says some studies show that could be better than the standard beeping alarm. That variation seems to wake people up better than just a straight monotonous type of an alarm. But researchers in Columbus haven't tested that and right now are looking at what part of their initial study made the difference. Is it the mom's voice that woke the child up or can it just be a generic female voice or a male voice? Was it the fact that we said their name? that we were giving them instructions to wake up and get out of the room. What part of that really is what is needed? 
In the meantime, experts say you can't depend solely on any type of smoke alarm. Instead, you need an escape plan that you discuss and practice with your kids. And as for the Smith family, if there were a fire... Luckily, our bedroom's right across the hall from them, so we could just run over and get them. Have to keep in mind that they're not going to hear it. Well, experts say you may want to coordinate which parent would get which child. You should always know two ways out of every room, and you should have a meeting place outside the house. Now, we have a link at kdk.com to help you develop a plan for your home. This is really amazing. All right, well, with three little kids at home, I want to know when is this going to be available, that new one that they're trying to create? Well, the research takes time, at least two years, because they're looking at so many different factors. Mm -hmm. They need to make sure something that works with kids is also going to wake up adults. Oh, yeah. And in the meantime, we should say, if you have a smoke alarm in your home, you need a smoke alarm in your home. And if you have one, absolutely maintain them, because sure. they, they save lives. Absolutely. Yeah. And our thanks to Samantha and Sydney for being our test subjects. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know. Right. really enlightened a lot of people. Yeah, they slept right through it. All right. Thank you, David. Sure.